internet so this is my vlog for the winter biannual bibliothon I decided I wanted to go ahead and vlog throughout the week um, and because it's been a while since I vlogged and I enjoy it but anyway the readathon literally just started it's 1201 I do have to get up fairly early tomorrow for work so I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of reading tonight but I do want to start something so real quick I'm gonna go through my TBR again I did just post my TBR video a couple days before this vlog starts but um, I want to remind you of what I'm reading so I've got four books on my TBR for this round I've got down among the sticks and bones by Shauna McGuire Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. The group book, which is Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. And then I have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So I think as far as physical books go, I'm going to start with Otherworld just because this is the group book and this is the one that they're going to be talking about on the live show. And I actually amazingly have the day of the live show off so I can actually participate for once. Uh, so I want, if nothing else, I want to make sure that I finish this book this week. So I think I'm going to start with this one. I don't really know what it's about. All I know is it's sci-fi. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if I like it. And then tomorrow, whenever I'm getting ready for work, I'm going to be starting the audiobook for Weathering Heights. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside as well. And then I'm going to save Finding Audrey and Down Among the Sticks and Bones for later this week after I finish other world so like I said I'm gonna be vlogging throughout the week and kind of letting you know my reading progress and everything I do have to work every single day of the readathon um, so there's not gonna be any days off where I can just sit and read which is unfortunate but that's okay I'm still gonna make an effort to try and get these four books read as much as I can and uh, we'll see what happens it is about 930 on day one and I have worked all day and I just got out of the shower as you can tell but this morning I did start listening to the audiobook for Wuthering Heights. I got I think four chapters in to it and then I got two chapters into Otherworld on my lunch break at work and so I am going to read some more of Otherworld while I do laundry. Hi Ringo. Hi. Otherworld's interesting so far. I really didn't know what it was about but it looked Hi Daisy. But it looks like, ugh, really, did you miss me? It looks like it's kind of about like a virtual reality game. It kind of reminds me of Warcross a little bit, which I finished at the beginning of this month. So I'm curious to see, <laughs> curious to see where it goes, plot wise. Hey, they, quiet, quiet. I didn't ask you your opinion. I'm going to stop recording so I can deal with this and I will let you know how far I get. It is now day two of the readathon and I got some reading done from Otherworld last night. I'm about a third of the way into it. I really like it so far. I take back my other statement where I said it reminds me of Warcross. It does not remind me of Warcross anymore. But I really like it. I think it's interesting. Um, I like the writing a lot as well, but as you can probably hear, I am about to take a bath. I just got home from work, and I'm going to take a bath, and I'm going to read my book for a little while. Okay, guys, it's about 9.45-ish on day two. I am done with my bath, and I just finished eating some dinner. Um, I read some more of Otherworld in the bath. I'm almost to the halfway point. So now I'm catching up on some laundry. And I really need to do some, like, paperwork type things. So I think that I'm going to listen to Wuthering Heights while I work on that. And get some more of that read. And maybe I'll read some more of Otherworld when I go to bed tonight. I have to get up at 6 in the morning. So I'll probably be trying to at least lay down soon, even though I probably won't go to sleep. So... Um, but yeah, I'll let you know if I read any more today. So it's like 11 o'clock on day three, and I kind of forgot to film an update. I had another day full of work, and then when I got home, I took a shower, and I've pretty much been reading. I had some dinner, and I've been reading Otherworld. I've only got about 50 pages left, and then I'll be done, 50-ish pages, and 
I really, really like it. Um, I like it a lot more than I expected to, to be completely honest. So I'm curious to see how it's going to end. And even though I don't have a lot left, I don't think I'll finish it tonight just because I was starting to get really sleepy whenever I was reading earlier. But I'll definitely finish it tomorrow and get to start a new book tomorrow, so that's exciting. But I am going to bed because I have to get up at 6am again tomorrow and it's already very late and I should have went to bed a while ago, but I am me. Um, I am going to read a little bit more until I kind of get sleepy again so that way I will fall asleep faster but yeah just wanted to give y'all an update good morning friends it's like seven o'clock in the morning on day four um I just wanted to film a quick little clip because last night I did actually end up finishing other world which I wasn't expecting I just that last 50 pages I just needed to know how it ended so I just powered through I thought it was really really good I ended up giving it four stars um I really liked the game Otherworld and how that worked and um, I liked the author's spin on like the creator and like everything that happened with him losing control of the game and all the things that happened because of that. I did kind of have a problem with a particular scene towards the beginning where the main character is talking about feminism and I didn't really like the way that he said things and I honestly saw a lot of the plot twists coming like when a lot of the plot twists were revealed particularly towards the end I didn't even realize that we weren't supposed to know the information they were telling us because I just thought it was that obvious um so I don't know I liked it I gave it four stars I'm definitely going to read the sequel but it's not my favorite virtual reality game book but Moving on, I'm still listening to Wuthering Heights, which I'm about to listen to while I get ready for work. I just finished eating breakfast, so I need to finish getting ready. And I'm going to take a new book with me to work to start. I have Down Among the Sticks and Bones and Finding Audrey left. I haven't decided which one I'm going to take. I'm kind of leaning towards Down Among the Sticks and Bones just because it's shorter. Because that's my book that I'm going to read for less than 200 pages. So I don't know yet. But um, I will let you know later today what I end up picking. Hey everyone, it is day five. It's about 9.45 or so at night. Um, I don't think, hi Daisy, I don't think that I really updated again last night. So um, I did take a bath and I started finding Audrey and then I read quite a huge chunk of it yesterday. I'm like two thirds of the way through it. I have less than 100 pages left. It's a super quick read. Um, so my plan is that I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to go ahead and finish this tonight because I get to sleep a little later tomorrow than normal. So that'll be a good time to go ahead and get this done and that way I only, only have Down Among the Sticks and Bones left to read. I am also to about the halfway point of Weathering Heights, so I don't know if I'm going to finish this one because I just really haven't had a lot of time to listen to the audiobook um, other than when I'm getting ready in the mornings because I haven't really been home other than that. So I don't know if I'm going to finish Weathering Heights this week, but I'm considering doing the 24 and 48 readathon over the weekend because it's Saturday and Sunday and I'm miraculously off. So if I don't finish this during the Bibliothon, I can finish it during that readathon. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet or not. It depends on if anything comes up that I need to do because I'm still trying to figure that out. But um, but yeah, so I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to finish Finding Audrey. It is now what day six of the biannual bibliothon. I'm getting ready for work. I'm going to be leaving soon. Um, I listened to some more Wuthering Heights this morning. I'm, I'm over halfway through it now. It's not my favorite. I'm really trying to like it, but I, uh, I'm not my favorite. Um, I did finish Finding Audrey last night and I really really liked it. I gave it four stars. Um, so the only book that I haven't started yet is Down Among the Sticks and Bones. So I'm gonna take this to work with me today. I'm gonna be working really really late tonight so whenever I get home I probably won't read. I'm probably just gonna want to go to bed. But I am hoping to start this book uh, during my lunch break. It's my shortest book it's only a hundred and like 86 87 pages or something like that so I'm hoping that I can start it today at work during lunch and then finish it 
tomorrow. That way I will have been able to complete at least my three physical books that are on my TBR. I really don't think I'm going to finish Weathering Heights because I still have too much of the audiobook to listen to. Uh, but that's okay. Um, I was going to film an unboxing today. I got ready for work a little early so I could do it and then I went down to my apartment's office to get it and they had trouble getting the door open that they left the packages up in. So that's not going to happen. I'm going to try and get that tomorrow and maybe film it tomorrow or I may have to wait till Saturday depending on if I can get the lighting good enough in my apartment. I don't have the greatest lighting in my apartment. Um, but anyway, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go to work now and hopefully start this later. So it's now the last day of the Bibliothon and I'm headed into work. Um, I have read some more of Wuthering Heights. I don't have too much left. I think I have like maybe 70 pages left, but I still have quite a bit of the audiobook. So I don't know if I'm going to finish that today. It just depends on how things go when I get home because I know I won't be able to listen to the audiobook um, anymore until that point. And then yesterday at work I did start Down Among the Sticks and Bones. I'm about 30 pages in. Um, so I'm not really into the plot much yet, but I do, it did kind of spark a memory in me on how much I really like Shauna McGuire's writing. So I am really looking forward to reading some more of that today, and I'm hoping to finish that tonight since it's fairly short. So I will keep you updated as to how I do on that. So it is about 1030, and I am just now kind of getting settled to do some more reading tonight. Um, I did do some reading during my lunch break today and of Down Among the Sticks and Bones and I'm going to finish it tonight because it's a short book so I know that I can get through it. Uh, but before I started reading, I got home from work and I filmed an Owl Crate unboxing and I loved this month's Owl Crate. It was so awesome. Um, which this that's probably gone up before this vlog so I'll link it in the description if that's the case. Um... But I loved this month's Owl Crate box. It was, it might be my favorite box I've ever gotten. I really, really loved it. Um, and then I took a shower and I just watched last night's Grey's Anatomy. And I have a lot of feelings. So now that I've uh, caught up on that, um, I'm going to read some more of Down Among the Sticks and Bones. So that way I can finish it. Um, I know I won't finish Wuthering Heights and I'm okay with that. I've accepted that. Um, but I would like to at least get Down Among the Sticks and Bones finished. So that way I will have finished three of the four books on my TBR for the readathon. So I will feel pretty good about that if I can accomplish that. So um, yeah, I am, I'm gonna do start that now. So it is a couple of days after the end of the biannual bibliothon and so I wanted to make an official kind of wrap up clip because I really didn't do that the other night. Um, so my official count of books that I read during the Bibliothon is two. I read Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller, and I read Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. I started Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean McGuire and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte during the readathon, but did not finish them before the strike of midnight. So I technically didn't finish them before the end of the readathon, but I did finish them the day after the readathon. So as of now, I have finished both of those books. I just technically did not finish them during the readathon. This also means that I completed a few challenges. I completed the group book challenge and the book you'd never heard anything about or however it was phrased challenge. I completed the backlist book challenge and the book about a mental illness challenge. I did not complete a book under 200 pages and I did not complete read a sequel or a book that was mentioned in another media be it book movie tv show whatever so I completed four of the seven challenges so I also feel really really good about that all in all I feel really really good about how I did considering I worked every single day of the readathon I still feel like I accomplished a lot and I feel really really good about that so let me know down in the comments if you participated in the Biennial Bibliothon, how many books you got through and how many books you started and whatnot. And I will see you guys next time with another video.